Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about exciting news that Hedera's very own Dr. Baird attended a private conference which included a representative from The Economist. On the 20th of October, the Chief Marketing Officer at Hedera Hashgraph, Julian Hasker, tweeted details in regards to a private conference Hedera's co-founder Lehman Baird attended, which included a panel of individuals from UCL, Dovu and The Economist. The tweet stated, I can't say much because it is a private conference with industry bigwigs, but a great sustainability panel with representatives from The Economist, UCL, Dovu and Hedera. Dr. Baird's appearance at this conference, especially alongside the likes of The Economist, Global Editor and Climate Innovation Editor, could be huge news. The Economist is one of the most widely read financial magazines on the market, whereby over 536,000 magazines are sold per week in the US. This is coupled with The Economist boasting over 53 million followers across a number of social media platforms. A potential story outlining Hedera's eco-friendly nature in the magazine and across its platforms would be spectacular for Hedera. The Economist's copious audience will provide a means for the mainstream financial magazine, providing a funnel for more investors, be it retail or high net worth entities, gaining a deeper insight into the Hedera project as a whole. More investors may actively look into investing into the DLT project. Dr. Baird's appearance in the private conference alongside a chief editor for The Economist is vindicated, namely due to Hedera's stunning character characteristics of being the most eco-friendly DLT platform currently on the market. Alongside The Economist's chief editor appearing at the private conference, a representative from the University College London also appeared in the conference. University College London is one of 23 current Hedera Governing Council members and actively control a Hedera node, which contributes to providing consensus for the network. As well as being an active member of the Hedera Governing Council, UCL is also actively involved in conducting research for blockchain and DLT innovations. UCL's Centre for Blockchain Technologies produced a paper entitled Energy Footprint for Blockchain Consensus Mechanisms Beyond Proof of Work. The paper discussed the energy consumption characteristics of DLT and also picked out specific projects to reinforce their points. The paper mentioned Hedera Hashgraph in a number of instances. Most notably, according to the paper, Hedera's network uses 5 million times less energy compared to the Bitcoin network. The paper also outlined Hedera Hashgraph's technology being the most eco-friendly DLT project currently on the market. Hedera's Hashgraph technology uses approximately 0.02 watts of energy per transaction. This is in contrast to the Ethereum network which uses approximately 557.13 watts of energy per transaction. UCL also found that the Hedera network consumes significantly less energy to process transactions compared to the payment processor giant Visa, whereby Visa consumes 0.03 kilowatts of energy per transaction. This is in contrast to the Hedera network, whereby Hedera through the leveraging of Hashgraph technology uses 0.0001 kilowatts of energy per transaction. Hedera's impressive energy consumption capabilities puts it ahead over the likes of the payment processor giant Visa and makes it a standalone project to not only having the capability of processing tremendous levels of transactions per second but also carrying out such actions in an eco-friendly nature. As global industries move towards more green and renewable energy sources, organisations in a number of industries will look to the likes of Hedera to actively build their ecosystem to adhere to green orientated regulations which will invariably arise over the world in the foreseeable future. The low levels of energy consumption associated with the Hedera network has led to a number of organisations to actively leverage Hedera's consensus service. One such organisation is Dovu. Dovu is a tokenized carbon credit DeFi application which is partially owned by the car manufacturer giant Jaguar. Carbon credits are permits which give entities, namely corporations, the right to emit certain amounts of carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases such as methane. Carbon usage across industries vary greatly whereby companies in certain industries may have a carbon credit surplus or a carbon credit deficit. The advent of carbon credits has led to the formation of the carbon credit industry whereby companies with a carbon credit surplus can sell such carbon credits to organisations which don't have enough credits to cover their carbon emissions. Despite the potential advantages of the carbon credit industry, such as improvements in sustainability and reducing the carbon footprint of companies. There are currently a multitude of limitations associated with the carbon credit industry. Carbon credit formation and distribution is a slow and laborious process. 
whereby the majority of the industry involves multiple intermediaries, paperwork and legal limitations. There may be risks of fraud or false representation of potential carbon credit offsets. Dovu has implemented distributed ledger technology which provides the potential for overcoming limitations in the carbon credit industry. Dovu has decided to build its carbon credit marketplace on Hedera Hashgraph, namely due to its scalability, low predictable fees, high throughput and immutability. Dovu's utilization of the Hedera token service will enable the effective tokenization of potential carbon credits as non-fungible tokens. Such actions amount to $1 which is paid in HBAR through the Hedera consensus service. The tokenization of carbon credits as non-fungible tokens would be more costly on alternative blockchains, namely Ethereum, whereby the minting of potential carbon credits could amount to $80 to $100 per non-fungible token. The Dovu marketplace will also benefit from the low transaction fees associated with the Hedera consensus service, whereby it costs $0.0001 per transaction. These low fees will keep transaction costs low and thus carbon credit token prices won't be impacted on. Hedera's consensus service will also ensure that carbon credit details are logged onto the network in an immutable manner, documents, lab reports and legal frameworks associated with such carbon credits can also be hashed onto the network. This will ensure data being able to be verified and thus ensuring the validity of the carbon credits listed on the marketplace. Hedera's growing association with a number of world-renowned organizations can only be described as bullish. Hedera's eco-friendly nature puts it ahead over the vast majority of DLT projects and even Visa. This factor may entice more entities to directly leverage Hedera's consensus service and token service for their activities. Do you think Hedera should feature in The Economist? Will Hedera be the backbone for the impending green revolution? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.